All right, now we're dealing with a different kind of problem. Uh, still working with linear equations and two variables. And here they ask you to find the equation of a line given the slope and one point on the line. Here's the slope, m equals negative 2, and there's a point on the line. So the thing always to do is to say, well, the equation must look like this. So write that down. Okay, I have to have y equals mx plus b. Now, you recognize, ah, here's m equals negative 2. They already gave me the slope, which means I can plug that number right in here, and I can write y equals negative 2x plus b. So the only other thing I need to figure out is what b is equal to. And remember, when you're dealing with lines that are representative of linear equations, for example, something like this, there's your y-axis, there's your x-axis. The slope, of course, is the steepness of the line. In this case, the slope would be negative, like here, negative 2x. And b is the point where it crosses the y-axis. That's your y-intercept. You find, you're trying to find that point. The way to do that is to realize, well, they have given me a point on the line, negative 1 and 6. So this is your x value, this is your y value. So if you plug this x and y value in your y and x here, you can then solve for b. So if you replace every x by negative 1, so negative 2 times negative 1, and replace the y by 6, you can now solve this equation for b. So we have 6 equals negative 2 times negative 1, that's uh, positive 2, plus b. Move the 2 to the other side, subtract the 2 from this side, so we have 6 minus 2 equals b, or 4 equals b. Then you plug that back into your equation over here, which means that y equals negative 2x plus 4 is the equation you're looking for. Not so bad when you do it like this. All right, just to make sure that you understood what I just did, let's do another example. Let's say I have another equation to look for where the slope is equal to 1 half and the point on the line is 1, 3. Again, start with the general equation, y equals mx plus b, write that down. Then you realize, aha, they already gave me the slope. I can simply plug that in for m. So now we have y equals 1 half x plus b. And the only thing left to do to find b is to take the point you were given, take the x value, plug it in here, take the y value, plug it in there. So we have 3 equals 1 half times 1 plus b, or 3 equals 1 half plus b. Move the 1 half to the other side. So now we have 3 minus 1 half equals b, or that's 2 and a half equals b, or 5 halves equals b. You can write in either form as an improper fraction or a mixed number, it doesn't matter. And if we then plug that back into your equation right here, we can then say, aha, y equals 1 half x plus 5 halves is the equation I am looking for. All right, let's do one more example so you feel comfortable with these types of problems. So we have, let's say, m equals minus 2 thirds and the point 3 and 6. All right, so you're looking for a line or an equation representing a line where the slope is minus 2 thirds and a point on the line is x equals 3, y equals 6. You know the equation has to look like this, y equals mx plus b, and right away say, I know what my slope is, I'll plug it in here, so we have y equals minus two-thirds x plus b. So the only thing left to do now is to find b, the y-intercept. Again, you take your x value, you plug it in here, take your y value, plug it in here, So you end up with 6 equals minus 2 thirds times 3 plus b. Notice that 3 divided by 3 is 1, so this can be written as 6 equals minus 2 plus b. Move the negative 2 over to the other side. You get 6 plus 2 now, because when you cross the equal sign, just change the sign, equals b, or 8 equals b. Then you plug that back into your equation right here. 
and that means your equation you're looking for is y equals negative two-thirds x plus eight. And there's the equation of the line. Notice that the answer in each case is in your general y equals mx plus b or slope intercept form as they call this. So not too bad when you do it like this.